Hi, I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 173. One of the most important, highly used, critical to know functions for a medical practice manager as far as lookup and reference functions go is a function called VLOOKUP. I spent from Excel Video 61, 8 or 9 videos in there going through the uh, some introduction and then some advanced uses of VLOOKUP. I want to come back to VLOOKUP and review VLOOKUP today so we can play with uh, several more things related to VLOOKUP. Now that we're a little more familiar with functions, I want to introduce some more functions that relate with VLOOKUP down the road. VLOOKUP is a function that says, help me find something in a table of data. And let me see if I can't explain what I'm doing. I have some old uh, Vanguard mutual fund information that you might use, say, if you had um, a 401k or profit sharing plan, you were letting some of your employees choose their investments, and you said, hey, I want to look up the number of stocks that are in the 500 index mutual fund. What you can do is use the VLOOKUP function. There are four parameters to VLOOKUP and I've listed them up here. The first thing is what am I looking for? I'm looking for cell A3. I'm looking for the, the phrase number of stocks. Where am I going to find it? In this table that runs from A8 to F38. So from A8 all the way down here to F38. I'm going to look for number of stocks and that's where I'm, there it is right there. I'm going to find number of stocks. Next thing is, okay, once you find it, what do you do? You return the second column and put that in the cell. So I'm going to go start with one, two, there's the second column, there's number of stocks. I want to put 504 up there and that works like a charm. What f true and false does, true says, I, it's, I explained it earlier in the Excel videos that it talked about VLOOKUP is the price is right model to uh, VLOOKUP. It's the closest to without going over. It works with numbers. It doesn't work with number of stocks very well. I mean, that's a, a text phrase. And so false says, no, 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 I'm not going looking for closest to without going over. False says it's got to be an exact match. And you can see it all right here if you'd like. The lookup value is A3. Here's the table. You see I've used the dollar signs to lock in the table reference so I could copy this for me if I wanted to. I'm looking for number two. And then false says I've got to find an exact match. When you do that, then it's pretty straightforward. If you want, to, if we change number of stocks to expense ratio, there's the expense ratio. If we want the asset class, it's going to show me its stock. If you want the category, that's how VLOOKUP works. What am I looking for? Where will I find it? What table? What range of data? When I find it, what column number do I want to return? The second column. I could just as easily make it the third column, and then I'd get the total stock market index if my table was wide enough and it is and then do I want to find an exact match yes I do so that Excel wants this to be false that's what you need to know about VLOOKUP if you're new to VLOOKUP I'd go back start watching with Excel video 61 and get familiar with it because we're going to take this and do some fancy things with VLOOKUP coming up see you then